Uh, the wild knife was not wild today. A few sambar and an old boar. Not you, Mukul. <laughs> You're not the old boar by any means. <laughs> there was squirrels and monkeys and birds, no elephants and definitely no bison. For some reason tonight, Betty has a hot water in her bed. I don't know. Did they say, save the good-looking young one. It's going to freeze tonight. And forget the old gal, me. I didn't get one. I had to cover up to myself. We don't have much to do tomorrow. Shopping, maybe? As usual, on a trip, you have all your pills ready for each day, each a.m. and p.m. So you will have no problem figuring out what, what time you take them. But no, that, that uh, pattern always seems to have a glitch somewhere. And you spend an hour every other day checking on yourself and all the pills. Now, I'm just complaining in general. <laughs> Everything went fine. <laughs> the Spice Village is very lovely. Periar Wildlife Sanctuary. But I think the wildlife went to Florida for the winter because we didn't see any. Oh, we saw some birds and trees. And Mukul knew all the names of those. Acres and acres and acres of grounds of trees and bushes. It is their winter, and yet many, many of the flowers are blooming. And it is warm, but people are walking around in shorts. There are a block or two of uh, shops in town. We may, we may go there, but Betty is not feeling good right now with her feet. They are all owned by the people from Kashmir. Oh, jeez, not Betty's feet. Betty's feet are not owned by the Kashmir people. The shops are all owned by them. And the Indians got pushed out of their own shops by the Kashmiris. Now, I don't know how that was done. But now the Kashmiris bring all their stuff in from Kashmir, and they get all the trade. It's sad, and we wouldn't have known that except if we had a guide, and he told us about that. Because you look at people, and they're all of a dark shade, and... Uh, you know, uh, unless they've got very distinguishing marks, you wouldn't know they think they were all the same. Uh, well, anyway, Shanka drives us to the spot, to the shops, and he stops and he parks, and we get out and we look and we buy. And we leave the bag with Shanka, and then we drive to another store, and we look and shop all over again. We are going to Kumarakan Kam on the South India coast. Now, I'm looking at this, and this is getting down to the very end. So I think I'm going to, I mean, it's going to stop any second now, and then we'll, I'll read the instructions and see what to do. I used to do this all the time. I don't know if I turn it over or if I put another one in if it's only like one-sided but I will find out and you will know if you have two tapes or one tape to listen to wait you were you wanted me to do this make a tape of India we haven't heard from you for ages I've got hundreds of tapes and well now they're all made into those round things Instead of the cassettes, they go, they're into CDs so that I can play them in the car 